Um, so while that song was playing, there's uh, this is not this is a prelude. While that song was praying, I was thinking about uh, there's a moment where Jesus is in the bottom of the boat sleeping, and uh, I was wondering, you guys, you were just now you were in the bottom of the boat with him. There's a storm raging. There's confusion. There's folly and everything else. There's noise all over the place, and there's all this havoc and everything else. And just now, because of that music playing, because of the place where you're sitting because of your surrender to Christ and his love and everything else, you were at the bottom of the boat sleeping with Christ. And this idea of sleeping with Christ is not one of those things where you're not inactive, you're in joined. You are resting with Christ. That is part of the communion message. So the communion message that was given to me, um, so my week's busy. Um, they're phone calls there's things going on um, outreach to Spain outreach to Germany outreach to Africa going on throughout the week people asking questions what's going on can you support us here can you? stuff going on um, then Lynn gets this great idea for the Friday let's sing in the park and oh, Friday night I was just gonna rest and everything else sure I'll do that I'll join I'll be a part I want to how can I not do it and everything else and so God said, okay, I got a story to tell you, and then I want you to tell me the story. So Mary runs to the tomb. Mary gets to the tomb. Mary has a project in mind. Mary has a task to carry out and everything else. And she looks inside the tomb, and he's not there. There's two angels standing there, and what are you looking for? Him. You know I'm about... <laughs> Why are you asking me? What am I doing? I'm, I'm busy. I, I'm doing. I, I'm here. I'm here to serve. I'm ready. I'm, I'm, what are you asking me, Mary? Leave me alone. I'm looking for him, Mary. Oops. In the midst of our life, in the midst of everything that's going on right now, are you that busy? Is there that much noise? Is there that much stuff going on that you can't observe Christ right there with you? I'm here. Why do you go to the dead to find? Because in the dead, I find comfort. I find comfort doing my chores. I find comfort calling the people I know. I find comfort going out and doing the garden work. I find comfort looking at the news and having an opinion. I find comfort asking people what they think and tell me, give me your opinion. I don't want to have my own. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Why do you go to the dead? Why are you here? Do you not know that I've risen? Have I not told you the story? Why would you come here where the dead live? Where would you prefer I go? How about the bottom of the boat? Come lay down here with me in the bottom of the boat. Get out of the storm. Get away from all this noise and everything that's going on around you. How about for a moment you trust that laying down with me, Christ, will be good enough? How about for a moment you take my body, my blood, into your own body and blood and accept the peace and the joy that I will give you? How about for a moment you stop and that's the hardest thing that I found to do last two weeks, three weeks. It's just stop. Let God have a moment of my time. Um, we always have a extra scripture on Sunday night that we look at and everything else. And, you know, there's certain books in the Bible that you try to avoid. You're, you kind of dodge, you know, read them once a year and that's good. I went there and everything else. And, I've been stuck in Ezekiel for a while. <laughs> okay, that's where you want me to be. And Ezekiel, it's a hard message, but it's a good message. Because in it, in the one I chose for tonight, it says, uh, if you do not do all of these offerings, the beams from your very house will be taken down and you will be impaled upon it. What does that mean? How about the things that you think are your strongholds and your safe places, the thing where you go to rest and be safe and everything else? Those are the very things that are going to kill you. Wait, wait, wait. So the communion message I want to give you is not that you're in an unsafe place. The communion message I want to give you is there is a safe place to go to. It's at the bottom of the boat and it's resting and it's sleeping. 
It's not in the tomb where you would expect to find it. It's not in the place where the dead things are. It's not in the opinion of your friends and the news and, and the concophony of noise that surrounds you. It's not there. It's with Christ. It's in his blood. It's in his body. And those are freely given to you. So in the midst of everything that's going on, shh, be still and know that I am God. For I have placed within you the comforter. So I don't want us to think it's a lack of action when we draw on the Christ. It is the hardest, most active thing that we have to do. It only takes 30 seconds to be distracted. Squirrel. And suddenly you're not with Christ anymore. Thunder. And you're not with Christ anymore. Tragedy. Phone call. Grocery shopping. 92 degrees. 90, 102 degrees. And there's a distraction. Today, forevermore, surrender to the rest of Christ, the rest of Christ that lies in the bottom of the boat in the middle of the storm. Mm -hmm. Father God, to each and every one of us here, to each and every one of us watching, to each and every one of us who wants that moment of silence, so let us breathe. Let us lay down with our husband, for we are the bride of the church, and let us enjoy his peace. Let us enjoy his joy and let us for a moment be silent to the things that surround us and everything else. When we hear your voice, let us turn, let us wrap our arms around you and let us call you our teacher. Father, we want you. We don't want the rest of this stuff that's going on. We want you. So we surrender our hearts, we surrender our wills, and I say your name be glorified in Christ's name. This is an opportunity to take communion, and it's also an opportunity to uh, tithe, do your tithing. There's a box in the back. This is also an opportunity to, um, if you have a word of God for another, share it. But it's also an opportunity to pray. We'll have music going. Bless you.